So what are we doing today, Alex? We're gonna go chalk. We're gonna go right on the corner of Six and Figaro in front of the big Chase Tower there. And uh, we are going to engage in some um, passive disobedience uh, against the state. So we got our, we got our art supplies. We got, uh, it's going to be Chase. So we have blue and white chalk and, uh, you know, pastels. I'm not a big pastel artist, really, but this is street pastels. Chalking right now is kind of a hot button issue. I mean, it's technically illegal. Of course, it's selective enforcement. I mean, the police aren't going to arrest a kid for playing hopscotch. I think that chalking is a great form of protest. I believe that Americans should be protesting right now, every day. We can't just wait for this election season to end and think the next guy is going to do anything different. And I just believe that chalking is a perfect form of civil disobedience that is nonviolent, non-destructive, and a way for people to begin to let their thoughts out so that once again we can get a nice, good, righteous wave of protest. Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep doing it. Okay, well then I will call security. Okay. All right, but if and you have a permit, that's great. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, all right, thank you. Protest is the last thing that Americans have. If our leaders aren't doing anything about this crime, then we have to get out there again. I mean, I've been talking to, to my friends, figuring out what is going to possibly happen, weighing what I'm going to do versus what might happen, jail or a fine or a court or whatever. And to me, it's worth it. It's worth it at this point. It's symbolic. There is, there's an importance to symbolism. I mean, the Boston Tea Party probably didn't really do that much, but it was a symbolic thing that people could rally behind, you know? And I think that people need to see someone engaging in civil disobedience. I mean, there's gonna be plenty of unemployed people in the near future that are gonna have time and uh, inclination to just say, screw it, screw it, I'm doing this. Do this at the place where they're committing the crime. <laughs>